Hi everyone, and today we are doing the cover of this art journal that I finished. I'm most always keeping the cover to the end, and as you can see, it's quite a went gator on me. <clears throat> I'm sorry, uh, my throat is sore, so uh, sometimes it will go all Sam Elliott on you. So, uh, I want to do the cover and I want to replace the spiral that is already uh, coming apart and I want to show you, share with you how to turn something like this into this so first of all I need to take out this uh, the cover and the most important thing is to keep all the pages in place so when you get to put everything together uh, back again it, they are all aligned so I'm going to use this <laughs> clamps that I have but if you have any other idea how to do it like big rubber bands or tight uh, everything then go for it and they are really really hard okay I managed somehow and what I'm going to do is help the spiral go a even more open so I can take out everything and work on the cover without a worrying about the other pages so I'm just opening the spiral and taking it out it's gonna take a little bit of time you can you if you don't want to use like I'm doing your fingers and your nails you can use some pliers or whatever you have here we go now it's easier Here we go. First of all, this is going out, and now this one's going out. For now, I'm keeping the spiral just to make sure again that all the pages are uh, together. I don't need them to go uh, sideways and then it will be just uh, almost impossible to uh, to uh, get them back together again. So I'm moving this aside and I've got this. So this piece uh, here is a little bit uh, glossy. So I want to uh, go over it with sanding paper just to make sure there is a little tooth to the page or to the cardboard or whatever, just a little bit, it doesn't need to be a lot. Okay, good enough, I'm just going to go over it with a baby wipe because I don't want all the dust from the sanding to keep here and mix with the paint and with whatever we are going to do on top of it and I'm going to start and let's see I need something to protect underneath and I'm going to do the same thing uh, on both sides I'm going to start with gessoing everything with black gesso just to make sure I have a nice coverage of everything let's see let's take a brush no this is too thick okay so just going and making sure everything is covered I will paint over it and I will also glue on top of it so 
it's not really important just covering everything so I'm going to continue covering it with the black gesso and I'll be back when I'm finished because it's boring to see me doing it <laughs> I'll be back I'm back so I the cover uh, is uh, drawing with the black gesso and I needed to pick uh, some paper to make this part that is like a corset so I, I went and took uh, one of my one page of a 12 by 12 this is it and as you can see that's the original I wanted it very loud a um, almost like a brocade or brocade whatever <laughs> and to make all this um, print a uh, red I just took a permanent marker this one is Windsor and Newton it doesn't matter uh, it's alcohol based and I just went like this all over it also gave the black more uh, intensity and as you can see it just went and colored all the white so now it's really loud <laughs> I'm always uh, going like I don't know like a costume on the cover I am more free to do crazy things so that was going on here so I'm just finishing coloring everything I wanted you to see this you don't have to have this kind of 12 by 12 you can use whatever paper you want you have jelly prints you have painting papers whatever you like you can even use a fabric if you like I just don't like to sew anymore don't have the patience for it so if you have a interesting fabric then you can do this also trying to be quick about it yeah so now what i'm going to do is just clip it over and it's a 12 by 12 so of course i've uh, measured the um, at the half point at the six inches or if you are in centimeters then it's 30 centimeters and i marked the 15. so I'm going to uh, cut it in half and let's see I'll just mark it also here these are going to be the two parts of the corset I'm making let's cut this oops grab the brush also I moved a little here never mind we'll manage so it's not exactly straight here but I can always use this side so clipping them over on top of each other or like this just so I can mark the shape I want to cut from this I'm going to use just white chalk and let's see something like this I'm going all Marilyn Monroe on this if you want a Barbie silhouette go for it <laughs> an hourglass something like that doesn't really matter and now I'm just going to hold this in these two pieces in place and cut oh, this one's not good enough Oh, 
Okay, so I've got the two pieces that are going to go like this. And I think I want to decorate them more, but I'm not sure how I'm going to leave this be. And let's see what's uh, going on with the black gesso so we can uh, start painting. Okay. So here it is. And... I'm thinking, let's see, this is going to go like this, so maybe I'll mark it very lightly with a pencil, I know it's on top of black, but I'll see it, something like that, so I know what part I'm going to uh, paint and stencil and whatever and the same thing I'm going to do over here something like that okay so I want some red I want some black and we are going to do one piece uh, here and yeah black let's put some red here okay i got red and i'm taking a soft brush and i'm dry brushing it i'm not uh, trying i don't want any uh, water in it just covering at first just covering the section that is not going to be with the corset oops it's quite thick this uh, paint this acrylic paint so it's a little bit difficult to work with but it does have its positive points because it gives more coverage on top of the black that I have from the gesso trying to go with the movement just so it, be, it would be nice the, the, you don't have to I like it <laughs> just one of my quirks okay so I've got the red coverage here and I'm very gently, didn't turn out gently, tried <laughs> dipping into the black. I'm uh, just getting rid of uh, excess and again it's all dry brush. Just going around the edges. I want it darker. And I think I'll pick just a little bit more red and where they meet just to soften everything. That's it, I think. Yeah. Now I want to stencil on top of it. I just need this to uh, to dry, and of course I need to do the same thing on this side. 
So I'm going to let this dry and do and also do the other side and I'll be back. I'm back. So now I this is dry. I want some stenciling. I've picked this stencil. If I've got a corset that looks like something out of a saloon in the old west, then I'm going with the tapestry that is going to just go with it. So I'm uh, using this stencil, just uh, placing it. I've got some bronze acrylic paint here and with a makeup sponge, I'm just stenciling away. Now, um, it's better for this kind of thing to use thick uh, acrylic paints, not something uh, like craft paints, the little bottles, uh, that are very runny you need something that will hold and give you a nice um, print I don't know what to call it and a lot of times when you are stenciling on darker colors then you either uh, put first a white gesso and then stencil on top of it or you just need to go back again and again until you've got good coverage let's see okay yeah this, this worked I want also here so I'm going to stencil this here and I'll probably uh, add this feature and this one in between so that's what I'm going to do and I'll come back finished stenciling and now I want to bring in the corset but first I want to eliminate a, the edges like here that I have white I'm going to take a black ink pad and just go uh, uh, over all the edges not only to cover the white I'm also going in like this and it gives a more dimensional look to this so also covering side and also going in like so very generous with going in <laughs> making sure I don't have white showing through okay got this now I want to put some glue and attach this piece I'm using silicone glue, I like using it, it's strong, it dries fast, but you don't have to have silicone glue, you can use whatever you have, as long as it's, it's strong enough to glue down a piece of scrapbook uh, paper, because that's what I'm using, if you are using any kind of other paper that doesn't need a strong glue, then by all means, Okay, got this and placing it maybe a little bit up. Yeah, here we go. Just it dries fast, but it also gives me a little time. To move uh, pieces to see where to place them so here it is and I'm not sure yet about uh, decorating the part of the corset I'm thinking all kinds of lace trims something like that I'm not so sure what I want to use I am um, so for now I want to 
let this dry so it won't move on me and we'll go uh, to the other to the next stage of putting the ribbon I can uh, decorate it later so I'll be back okay so my cover is um, finished and I even found a trim to go nicely here now it's the hard part of uh, getting everything back together and I've got the papers the uh, pages of my uh, journal and I've got the two sides of the cover and now you need to pick uh, some kind of ribbon or uh, yarn whatever uh, works for you I picked this one and there are several ways to go about it you can use a safety pin you can use if you have a crochet needle then it's also an option to make your ribbon go through all this or uh, you can use a what's this called uh, office uh, from the office office supplies uh, whatever and just uh, put it through here and with this you can go you can even if it's it doesn't go in the holes that you have you can do just squish it like so and then start a well, now I'm uh, I want the the bow Let, let's demonstrate here to be here on top so I'm starting uh, to uh, with this uh, from the top this is the top so I'm going through here and this needs patience there is no other way to go about it and through all the pages couldn't find a crochet needle with a large enough head to handle all this uh, so that's what I'm using and now it's got stuck but we shall overcome so basically what you need to do <laughs> is thread whatever you picked I'm going to change and use something else or instead of like this I'm just opening it and doing something like that let's see if now yeah as I said this that's the difficult part of the whole process let's see if it goes now through all the pages yes here it is all like this and here is the other side of the cover now um, on the other journal I went crisscross like uh, shoelaces this time I'm I think maybe maybe like this no let's go with what I know and this is supposed to imitate a corset so I think I will go a uh, just a hole below so next time so it will be crisscross when I'm going back up again so I'm going uh, like this in zigzag until I reach the bottom and then again up so and if you don't want to thread through all these uh, uh, holes you don't have to you can uh, skip one and move to the next whatever uh, works for you depends on your uh, what you want to do and 
just make sure uh, the thing is aligned with the other holes so I'm going to keep at it it's going to take me a long time and I'll be back So here it is, I finished, it took a lot of time, I didn't remember how difficult it is to just uh, go about uh, threading this, but made it, it's finished, and here is the cover in like a corset. So thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below, I'll be seeing you in my next video, bye for now.